Hello, welcome to AIA. I'm teacher Brittany. Well, think of English like a dish. It's good, but you have to add some flavors to make it truly mouthwatering. And you have come to the right place because today we'll learn idiomatic phrases that will infuse your speech with zest. Excited? All right, let's start. Steal the show. I don't care to steal the show. No one's gonna steal the show from the bride. Steal the show. This means to outshine or impress everyone in a performance or event. Her incredible singing stole the show at the concert. I don't care to steal the show. I don't care to steal the show. No one's gonna steal the show from the bride. No one's gonna steal the show from the bride. Hold your horses. Hold your horses. Hold your horses. This phrase tells someone to be patient and calm when the other person appears to be impatient. Hold your horses. The results will be out soon. Hold your horses. Hold your horses. Hold your horses. Hold your horses. Y si tú quieres educar tu oído 100% gratis, tengo un entrenamiento que me tomó meses crear uh, que puedes bajar hoy en día 100% gratis. Educa tu oído hoy. Enlace en el primer comentario. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. 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 This advises that we shouldn't make plans based on uncertain outcomes. It's too early to celebrate. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. I don't count your chickens before they hatch. I don't count your chickens before they hatch. The devil is in the details. The devil is in the details. Sometimes the devil is in the details. The devil is in the details. This means that details are important, that problems or difficulties are often in the details. Pay attention to the details. The devil is in the details. The devil is in the details. The devil is in the details. Sometimes the devil is in the details. Sometimes the devil is in the details. Give someone the cold shoulder. She gave me the cold shoulder. When she gave me the cold shoulder. Give someone the cold shoulder. This means to ignore or snub someone you know. It's the opposite of a warm welcome. She gave him the cold shoulder after their argument. She gave me the cold shoulder. She gave me the cold shoulder. When she gave me the cold shoulder. When she gave me the cold shoulder. Now, let's put your knowledge to the test with a fun activity. I know you can't wait to see the movie, but you'll have to till it starts. A, hold your horses. B, Count my chickens before they hatch. C. Read between the lines. The correct answer is A. Hold your horses. Excellent. Let's try one more. His magic trick really? At the talent show. A. Held his horses. B. Stole the show. C. Gave the cold shoulder. The correct answer is B, stole the show. Nice work. Let's continue the journey. There's more waiting for us. Let sleeping dogs lie. You should let sleeping dogs lie. Why couldn't you let sleeping dogs lie? Let sleeping dogs lie. This phrase means we should not talk about a bad situation that most people have forgotten about, as it will only bring up trouble or conflict. It's best to let sleeping dogs lie and not bring up the past. 
You should let sleeping dogs lie. You should let sleeping dogs lie. Why couldn't you let sleeping dogs lie? Why couldn't you let sleeping dogs lie? A penny saved is a penny earned. Penny saved is a penny earned. A penny saved is a penny earned. A penny saved is a penny earned. This simply means it's better to save money than wasting it. Don't spend all your earnings. Remember, a penny saved is a penny earned. 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 Actions speak louder than words. 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 This means that what you do has more value than what you say. If you want to gain trust, remember that actions speak louder than words. 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 A picture is worth a thousand 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 words. This phrase means that images tell a better story than words do. Here's a picture. It's worth a thousand words. A picture is 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 worth a thousand words. Speak of the devil. Speak of the devil and up he pops. Speak of the devil, he just walked in. Speak of the devil is said when a person appears just after being mentioned. Oh, speak of the devil. Here comes John. Speak of the devil and up he pops. Speak of the devil and up he pops. Speak of the devil, he just walked in. Speak of the devil, he just walked in. Read between the lines. You've got to read between the lines. You've just got to read between the lines. Dig a bit deeper. Read between the lines means to try to understand someone's real feelings or intentions from what they say or write. Her smile masked sadness. You have to read between the lines. You've got to read between the lines. You've got to read between the lines. You've just got to read between the lines, dig a bit deeper. You've just got to read between the lines, dig a bit deeper. A taste of somebody's own medicine. We shall give you a taste of your own medicine. A bit of a taste of your own medicine, huh? <laughs> a taste of somebody's own medicine. This refers to a negative action that occurs to someone after they have done the same thing to someone else. Sarah always interrupts people in meetings. Today, she got a taste of her own medicine when her colleague interrupted her presentation. We shall give you a taste of your own medicine. We shall give you a taste of your own medicine. Bit of a taste of your own medicine, huh? <laughs> Bit of a taste of your own medicine, huh? Curiosity killed the cat. Curiosity killed the cat, officer. You know, curiosity killed the cat. This phrase warns that being overly curious can lead to trouble. He should have snooped around. Curiosity killed the cat. Curiosity killed the cat, officer. Curiosity killed the cat, officer. You know, curiosity killed the cat. You know, curiosity killed the cat. Don't judge a book by its cover. Don't judge a book by its cover, Carl. 
Don't judge a book by its cover. This phrase shows that you cannot know what something or someone is like by looking only at that person or the thing's appearance. Get to know her before making judgments. Remember, don't judge a book by its cover. Don't judge a book by its cover, car. Don't judge a book by its cover, car. Don't judge a book by its cover. Don't judge a book by its cover. That's a wrap for today's lesson, but wait, there's more. In the video description below, you'll find links to download free eBooks packed with even more things for practicing and mastering your English skills. If you found these idioms as exciting as we did, remember to show your support by smashing that like button, sharing this video with fellow learners, and of course, subscribing to our channel. I'm teacher Brittany, Hope to see you in the next video.